this is a video for a Libra. What's up, God? You are manifesting in business and you are so this is for people who like have idea if you have a business idea or if you have a business that you're working towards and i like to provide spiritual guidance for that business um a lot of people use tarot readings and you know prophetic abilities and psychic and clairvoyance and intuition and all that stuff for their personal lives but you know i want to be the one to help you use my power and my knowledge and my connection to spirit to help you in business so um I'm going to start daily, doing daily updates for people in business. Interesting. So this is for Libra, who is manifesting in business. Okay, so we have many cards. Like, oh, yes, Lord. Judgment on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, we got judgment. Energy for the bottom of the deck. So we have start off seven of cups. We have ace of wands, four of wands. Seven of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and Judgment. And I just want to pull Oracle Guidance to go with this and see, you know, what energy we get from. Did not do that on purpose. I stay dropping some cards. Does that mean I should take all three of these? It's too many, but I'll take them. I don't like getting my cards dirty. It, it really bothers me. Oh man. Call it OCD. Call it, I don't know, but I don't want my cards to be dirty. I love you. Anyway, <laughs> so we have Believe in the Impossible Oracle Guidance. We have Expect Powerful Change with the Judgment Card. I believe it. We have the End of a Tough Cycle Approaches. We have Look at the Bigger Picture. Nothing is yet set in stone. I'm going to have to read that one because what? So, lots of good cards that we have. So, yeah. We have five oracle and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tarot. Let me try to dig with this without going into clarification since it's already so many different messages. But I want to clarify nothing is yet set in stone. Because what? Well, I guess everything is changing. So, yeah, I don't need to clarify that. Things are changing. That's why nothing is yet set in snow. But let's get a clarifying card for that because I ain't got time. I'm a Libra too. This is business. What is it set in stone? Is it a partnership? Is it... Okay. I'll take it. Three fail on my lap. And we got to clarify. Nothing is yet set in stone. We got the justice card. We have fast moving communication or something moving very quickly. And we have the hermit. So the light is working. The light is bringing justice in your situation um, and your business situation. So this could mean a slew of things for different people. Again, this is a general reading. Take it as it resonates. But also, um, if you need a personal reading, if you would like to be a part of my subscription program, watch this video and then I'll tell you more about it. And if you're interested, it's in the description. But if not, you can also order a private reading on your business and I'll be able, I would love to help you with that as well. All right, be right back. Let me read this message and I'll be back with your message. I've manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides. They give me strategy. They help me to attune to hurdles along the way and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection, connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well if you want to manifest a new job if you want to manifest a new car if you want to manifest more money if you want to manifest more life a divine partner a baby whatever it is that you are yearning for allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals i'm looking for 33 people to help and if you feel like you're one of those 33 people hit the link below thank you Good luck and peace. What's up, Libra? This is a dope reading. I'm so happy to be a Libra today. But it starts with this reading. My cards. I had to move this stuff around because, anyway, I don't like the background. I'm not at home again. And, you know, I have to work with what I got. And I just didn't like how the background was looking. So I just had to move things around. 
moment. Give me a second, leaps. But this reading is so dope and I am so excited. Can't wait for it to manifest. But basically, leaps. It starts with the Seven of Cups. This is normally like a card that you don't want to get because it's about being deceived. But this is a good deception. Uh, not, this is, things aren't what they seem in a good way though. Because you could be, you know, having trouble in your business or you could be manifesting an idea or trying to put something together that you just don't feel like things are going the way they should be going. You don't, you're not getting the results. And I can relate to this. Because I, you know, I did a reading. Sorry for that in the background. But I could do a reading. I did a reading on my YouTube channel because I'm like, this is growing slow. Maybe quicker than a lot of other channels. But still slow. Is it worth my time if I post a video and get one view? Like, is it really worth my time? And I did a reading one, and then Spirit told me to keep going, keep using it. YouTube would be very essential to connecting me with my people to, for soul honoring connections and success into my life. So I said, fine, I'll keep doing it. So this is what this card is attuning to. It is saying that, yeah, things may not seem like they're going right. This is deception, though. This is how sight fools you. This is sight fooling look at this man he's dark he's in the darkness meaning he's following his intuition he's in the flow with the divine feminine he's going off fate and not but sight is trying to fool him sight is saying things aren't working sight is saying your business is gonna fail sight is saying you might as well try something else or quit but it's fooling it's deceptive because it is working the next card you have is the ace of wands out of nowhere out of nowhere but knowing that it's coming a big blessing is coming your way this is a breakthrough this is a blessing this is abundance this is opportunity soon things may not look like things are going well for you oh but it is and soon you'll see it because you'll get an opportunity a new opportunity come to you out the blue Maybe not even after blue, but a new opportunity is coming your way. And it's going to provide a solid foundation for you. This four of wands is representative of success. It's opportunity. So whatever it is you're doing, it may not seem like it's working, but it is. Don't let sight fool you. Fool you. Continuously continue to do what you're doing because it's working and it's bringing you towards success. Then you have the seven of swords. Focus on what's important. Don't lose focus. Do not lose focus. I know sometimes sight can make it seem like things are not working, but it's working. Continue to stay focused. Focus on what's important. Develop this because a solid foundation is being developed in your life. Um, stability is being developed. Another thing that came up in this reading is the number 47. It's 4747. I looked up the number 47. 47 I mean 7474 seven, with the seven of cups, four of wands, seven of swords, and then the four of swords at the end. And let me just read it from Joey and Scribes. It says, the message of the seven and four combination is that you are to be congratulated. Your angels say, keep up the great work. Keep your thoughts focused that they as they have a positive effect in your life. Your intuition has been strong and you have used your wisdom constructively. The vibration of the number seven has to do with spirituality, personal truths, and the unknown. The number four represents hard work and solid foundation. When you have the seven and four combination, it may be a message to use your intuition and inner talents to enable you to achieve your long-term goals. This is saying it's working. Whatever it is that you follow your gut, you follow this idea, you followed it, you're working on it, it's working and it's building a solid foundation in your life. Keep working with the Knight of Pentacles. Once you focus on what's important, keep focusing on what's important. Keep working towards your goals. Don't let no obstacle come, your, don't, you know, let nothing stop you from continuous growth, continuous stri continually striving towards your goals. I don't care if I post this video even one um, view. I don't care if you post a video and get one view. It's working. Do not be deceived. It is working. Keep doing it. You'll get better and better every time with the Knight of Pentacles. It's saying just keep continuously working hard. You're building a solid foundation and you'll soon be complete. This Four of Swords is representing completion. Soon it will be complete. 
and the bottom of the deck energy we have is the judgment card this is receiving this entire message is about receiving from the divine and that's why i love these couple with the oracle cards because when you receive from the divine the judgment card is big blessings that's why it says look at the bigger picture Look at the bigger picture. Don't look at the menial things like one, you know, one thing didn't go your way or it's something that doesn't seem like it's going your way or whatever it is. Look at the bigger picture, which is your vision. Focus on your vision, which is what's most important and keep working. Then you have the end of a tough cycle approaches with full moon and Capricorn. Perfect. The end of a tough cycle approaches. This is a recharge. This is something ending. And being recharged okay i completed my task and now it's time to recharge the end of a sub cycle approaches and with 7474 a solid foundation is being built because you followed your intuition because you use your spiritual gifts because you did what you were supposed to do in your business you're building a solid foundation in your finances in your life in your career so that you can go on to bigger and better things Sometimes it's hard to focus on what's important when you have distractions and bills, you have distractions in life. But when you focus on what's important and you know that you can't look at its sight, you can't listen to other people who look at their sight, you can't look at your sight, you have to look at your intuition and know that things are working in your favor. Don't be deceived by sight. Then you have expect powerful change. Ooh, my card. A powerful change is coming with that double judgment, with the double tens and the judgment card. Girl or a man, a powerful change is coming your way. Keep working. Powerful change is coming. Expect it to be abundant. Expect it to be big. And believe in the impossible. This is a perfect ending. Believe in the impossible. The impossible is happening for you right now. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what it looks like. The impossible is happening for you right now. If you believe in it, you have to hold that belief. Focus on that belief. Continuously work towards your goals. Focus on what's important. And this opportunity and success is coming your way. This success and opportunity is coming your way. Um, look up the number 74 if you don't, you know, I looked it up. I already told you what it means, but 7474. And then you have um, nothing is yet set in stone. Clarified by justice, something quick in the hermit. This is saying you are going to receive justice. Yeah, things may not seem like what it is, but it's not set in stone. Um, whatever this is going on in the back, if you failed at something, it's not set in stone. If things don't seem like it's working for you, it's not set in stone. You know why? Because something, justice is coming to you quickly. Justice is coming from the light. It's coming quickly and it's gonna bless you immensely i love this justice card it's you know libra showing up in their own reading i love when <laughs> the signs show up in a reading but this is justice this is you getting what you deserve and you deserve the best you deserve more life you deserve the light and the light is coming quickly to bring justice into your life and expect powerful change from it so whatever you're going through right now it's not set in stone it's not because the divine got your back your guys got your back and you followed your intuition, you're not sight-based, you're faith-based, you're intuition-based, and things are working in your favor. This was for the sign of Libra. This is a general reading. If you would like a reading into your particular situation, if, if you connect with this, that is awesome. And if you want more information, the link is in my description. I have a subscription program. I mean, description. <laughs> If you would like continuous guidance for your business, strategy, action plans, I provide that to my subscribers. Um, I have a limited amount that I will accept. But I also have a goal that I'm going to push myself and accept more. So I'm open myself to accepting more subscribers. If that is something that you need for your business and your life, click the link in my description and I'll be glad to help you. I wish you love. I wish you like. Peace.